Uh, Miss Sapp, towards the end of the game, uh, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Um, um, given given we go today, and I just uh, she said she was around, she was around, so felt pretty good. Um, did a lot of training on it, so I should be good to go tomorrow. You've been able to practice or practicing today, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the first time in a while you've had three days off without a game. Has that been a good stretch for you guys? Maybe to get your legs back and maybe get caught up with some of the fundamentals in practice? Yeah, I think so. To just you know, sharpen up on um, the little things uh, in practice. We got an extra day of practice that we usually don't have. So um, taking advantage of it and, and you know, kind of review over stuff and just sharpen the little areas up. Yeah, just overall, what what do you think you have accomplished in that midweek game? It was a non-conference game against a Division II opponent, but Coach talked about you were able to clean up some things and just stay, stay sharp. What other things did you pick up from that performance just as a unit? Um, I felt like uh, a lot of us, me included, didn't really play well the, the previous two games before that game. So it kind of gave us an opportunity to kind of get back in the rhythm, even though it wasn't against another AC opponent. It still gave us a chance to go out there and uh, get back in the rhythm. And now Boston College, what, what kind of challenges do they present and what we have to do well to come out with the win? Um, we got some really talented guards. Uh, they run a lot of you know good actions on offense, so if we can just stick to our defense principles, be able to guard our yard one-on-one, -on -one, uh, we can make it. A lot of people know the connection for you in this game. Do you just have to approach this like any other game? Yeah, it's definitely not, any not other get game. too high. Or... Right, it's definitely like any other game. It's an ACC game. At this point, everyone's everyone's fighting for something. We're fighting just you know, wins. That's all we need is wins. And, uh, we got to sack it up again. <clears throat> Yeah, you just as a veteran of the program, just coming in from the outside and everything like that. What's that transition been like? It seems like just from previous years to now, just the energy level has been different, uh, even it's on and off the court. Just what have you noticed uh, just as some of the differences from previous years over to now? Um, I don't know. It's different. I kind of got a different role. It's a, it's a different team, you know. Uh, it's a different team, so I mean everything's different. Um, at the end of the day, we're just trying to win games in any kind of way we can. So uh, that, that's that's my approach to it. Whatever it takes for us to win, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. How are you doing physically? Uh, Better. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, you know, got some yeah, kind of work in right now, yeah. and uh, yeah. I felt, felt decent. I should be good to go tomorrow. Yeah. What do you have to do with your ankle? First, you with uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. What did you like? What kind of training or um, therapy do you need to take? The past couple of days, we, I've just been with Rich like nonstop, so um, we were doing all kind of stuff, ice and standard, um, all that type of stuff. Yeah. 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 Well now. Is your boat gone or just um, specifying? Um, I don't know. I can still talk. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Um, I'm gonna tell you. Hang on.